Welcome back to Rum Pub, Buff and Beauty. I'm pretty excited about this soap. This is a new one. Uh, I, I'm not, ne I wouldn't necessarily say well, summer, because you guys are going to see this probably in early September. But um, it is my Isis line, uh, which is why the oils are a little bit darker. There's bentonite clay in there. My yogurt and my heavy cream are in there as well. This um, soap is inspired by the Santana song Smooth featuring Rob Thomas. And I'm hoping, because you know, when I listen to music, I mean, I have a mild for form of synesthesia, so I, I see color when I listen to music. Um, sometimes my soaps are inspired by the video or whatever. So I'm hoping that this particular, I'm using a very, very dark purple. It's called um, Heirloom Eggplant Purple. It's, I mean, it's a dark, dark purple. And I'm going to add some white to it and see if that's going to give me the color I'm looking for. I may have to mix up more white because there is going to be a little bit of white in the soap as well. So, but anyway, again, my Isis recipe. So my lye is a 50-50 mix of aloe vera juice and distilled water, sodium hydroxide, salt, and sugar. So I'm going to get this um, to just about emulsified because I'm going to be um, stick blending my colors in. Uh, I don't think the fragrance is going to have a problem even though it's new to me. Oh, I didn't tell you what the fragrance was, did I? It's uh, Pink Raspberry Cosmo? Pink Raspberry Cosmo. And trust me, it smells smooth. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, so let's get this started. I almost grabbed my thermometer rather than the head of my stick blender. Okay, Judy, let's go. I had a bit of a spill, y'all. It's a little bit thicker than I wanted, but we'll work with it. If I have to, I'll grab my hanger or we'll do a chopstick. I mean, I haven't done a chopstick swirl in a long time. I don't anticipate this... Uh, fragrance ricing or anything it's a fruity kind of fragrance so all right let's get these three poured off and I don't have my color um, I don't obviously I don't have my colors mixed already so usually I do Uh, wipe this off okay there we go I'm gonna put this off to the side and work on my other colors first so I'm gonna use plumberry pink which I need to buy more of which has a it's a red that has a purple tone to it I am going to use my trial by fire if I can open it. There we go. I'm going to use my trial by fire, which this is such a great color. You actually really don't need that much. Put this up here, and I'm going to use a little bit of white. I sort of wanted a creamy white. I don't want it like a white white. We'll see. Oh shoot. I think I'm going to have to mix up more. We'll see. Okay. So let's start with our titanium dioxide and I'll come back when these three are done and we'll figure out what color that's going to turn out to be. No, actually let me uh, scrape this off. Okay. So the heirloom purple, I, actually I might, you know, I, I probably have enough TD to get it the color I want, it, it, I think. 
I think it'll be the color I want. I hope so. Um, I have this other mystic purple that's a really, really dark purple. I used it the last time I made South of Heaven because I could not find my my gray 50 shades. So, and it turned out beautifully, which I need this. Let's, I got so much stuff all over the place, y'all. Okay, so now that all of this is stirred up, I'm gonna dump the rest of this white in here. I probably should have taken my spatula out of there. Get as much of this white out as possible. Now I gotta dry it with paper towel so I can stick it in my, my oh, I have one out, what do you know? <laughs> and then, I mean it almost looks gray or brown it's pretty dark I thought about putting a little bit of neon purple in it but then I thought eh, I think I'm not gonna do that boy this is getting thick okay so let me get this mixed up Okay, it's a little too gray for me. So I'm going to add more purple. Excuse me, reach it over you. I'm going to add some more purple. Purples do that. I hate that. That they gray out on you. Ugh. However, the stick bending didn't thicken it up anymore, which was good. That's good. I like it. I really do. Okay. That'll work. That will work. If this fragrance loosens it up like I think it's going to, I think I'm going to do an in-the-pot swirl. I have an image in mind and an in-the-pot swirl would work because I sort of want a sweet childish mind of mine look to it and I do an in-the-pot swirl, a sweet child of mine. So let's see. I got to get all this off the sides and get it mixed in the bowl and get the bubbles out okay so let's put fragrance 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 and then the rest it's not um rising on the surface of the soap which is good that's not but oh oh, 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 oh oh my goodness y'all smells so good because in the bottle it had a slight chemical smell and usually when that happens it opens up in the batter and whoo, 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 buddy it did it really did which is really good all right red Oh my goodness, this is going to be, I mean, people are going to love this. This has got a kind of, I don't know, I, you know, I'm not putting raspberries on the top of it because I don't want people to mistake it. I mean, it, granted, the colors of pour some sugar on me are different, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to use my hanger, y'all. I'm not going to be able to do an in the pot swirl, which is kind of sad because I really wanted to. I should have left my hanger out from uh, the soap I just made from last week. So, okay, let's get you in closer and get my hanger measured out because I'm definitely going to need it. Ugh. Okay. All right, so we're going to put our purple in there. And this will have piping on the top. And actually, it looks more gray. It really does look more gray, which isn't a problem. And our red. There we go. And our pink. 
gonna need the most pink for our piping. And then the white. Yep, definitely a hanger swirl. But at least I'll be able to pipe relatively quickly. And then get dishes done and go watch TV. And then we're gonna put a little bit more. Let me bang this after I, I want this emptied. I only want the pink, red, and white on the top of it. That I knew. I just wasn't sure what purple color this was going to create, and it created more of a gray. Which, you know, now I know. I'll, uh, try, I'll, next time I make it, if, if it sells well, I'll make it with the other purple, the mystic, whatever it is. Okay, I'm going to bang this and I'm bang, oh, you know what? I'm going to use the hanger first. Actually, I'm going to bang it. Then I'm going to do the hanger. So... Okay, and then I'm gonna bang the crap out of it. So I'll cut that part out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a piece of glad wrap and put these three colors. I'm gonna do the red and the pink on the sides and the white in the middle. So it's almost gonna look like Valentine's Day on the top. And we will be back. Back, um, I'm not wearing gloves cause well, this bag is going inside my piping bag and I don't have to worry about it so what I'm gonna do is I got my dishes done y'all let me make sure this is in frame correctly there we go I'll put some alcohol on this baby Woo! Alright, and I am going to twist my piping bag. And I'm going to do what I've been doing, you know, holding my piping bag like I do when I'm baking a cake. Because I think you guys can see it better that way. I want to do it at an angle. Oop. My piping is a little tough. I don't want it to be a scallop, but I want it to be at an angle. Yep, see this piping is tough. I shouldn't have done my dishes first. There we go. You know, because you have to push from the top of your bag especially when you're holding it like I am twist oh I'm twisting the wrong way <laughs> and I'm gonna put a straight big one up here and of course this is gonna be cut That's going to be a weird bar if it gets cut and the white is on one side and on the, the other side of the bar, it's going to be on the other side. So let me put some more going that way over here. I need to make that one bigger. I want to fill in these holes. I don't want any gaps in my piping. Gaps in your piping can cause some real problems. You know, like Dark Horse. <laughs> Gosh, I had such a problem with that piping. So now the soap is not piped up. Like at all. 
Okay. So I'm going to bring these up. I'm going to push down on it, and then I'm going to bring them up. is almost making them closer together. Okay, let's see. I'm wondering, can you guys see? I'm wondering if I should go this way to um, yeah I'm refilling in some of those gaps let me turn it around and make sure see that side isn't as high as the other side so let me turn it back around I don't know, the rest of it I might put it in a cupcake holder and just save it for myself. It smells so good. Now let's see if I need, yeah, now I gotta fill just some teeny holes. Can you guys see? Yeah. No big deal. I just wanted to pipe on this one and really didn't have a set way that I was going to do it. So there we go. I'll put the rest in a cupcake holder. Now this is going to get glitter, but it's not just, it's not just going to get the holographic glitter. It is going to get, where is it? It's going to get my dark glitter. I'm going to use my black, if I can open it. And I know that these are in old glitter things, you know, like craft glitter things, but this is all, oh, this is blue. Oh, wow. I guess it's got to be blue. No, I can't do that. I can't use blue. Well, that was just a waste of money. Maybe I'll use this one. I'll use this one because it has blues and purples and that kind of thing. It's like, I don't know if you can see the color of it. I'll use just a little bit of this. wipe my hands off here and then some holographic glitter okay and then we're going to spray with some alcohol and in 18 to 24 hours we're going to have smooth so I'll see you then bye bye okay guys so I'm not so sure about this one. It really, really looks gray. I mean, I probably should have put some purple, uh, like normal, my amethyst purple. I've got a cupcake with my extra piping. I probably should have, oh, I should probably put that. This is from my icing from Just Can't Get Enough. And my icing from this one. Um, I probably should have put uh, more of purple in there to make it more purple. Because I was looking for a purple. So let's see. I, hopefully I'm not too disappointed with the way it looks on the inside. I will definitely be changing the design of this if it sells well. You know, I'll use a, a brighter purple. Heck, I mean, I could have even put 
um, what's it called? Uh, oh, neon purple in there. So let's see what we have with our first bar because I didn't, I didn't peek. And if I remember correctly, didn't we have to run a hanger through this? It's been a few days, so you'll have to excuse me. I'll know as soon as I pick it up and I look at it. Oh yeah, we ran a hanger through this. Oh well, I mean, I guess it's not bad. It's not terrible. It's just not what I wanted. I wanted more of a dark purple. I guess I next time I make it, because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to sell well. Just Oh, see, see, I like that piece. I definitely like that piece. It's got this great smell, and I don't know if you can see the top of that all glittering. <laughs> um, I'll definitely put more purple in it. But other than that, I mean, I'm not as disappointed as I thought I was going to be. So I guess there's that. I'm pretty sure it's going to sell at least decently. The fragrance is incredible. So it's fun. It's fruity. I finally get to go back up to see my customers on Sunday, which today is the... 24th of June, so the 26th? I think it's the 26th that Sunday is the 26th. I don't know. Anyway, I get to finally, after the whole, you know, staying away and getting two negative COVID tests, and well, yes, I'm still snuffy and all that. That's just this time of year. I do that every year. You guys know that. If you've been around here long enough, in the summer and then in the mid-ish early to mid-winter I get the same way so but yeah I'm definitely excited to be able to go back to see my customers it's kind of funny I mean I had a whole notebook I had like four customers ask me for special requests and then I don't just then I just don't show up I mean I did tell the director you know what was going on with me and why I wouldn't be there so hopefully if people asked for me <laughs> then they know why I wasn't there but I had uh, three customers in particular ask me for never gonna give you up soap they bought everything else I had never gonna give you up and but they wanted the soap and which actually when I go back upstairs I am going to have to put in my bucket because it's not in there currently. Oh, guys, I'm telling you. There we go. And again, you know, it's summertime, so you're going to have to excuse my uh, air conditioner going all the time. Or at least a lot of the times. Um, I'm probably going to have to put my hand in front of this in front of you to be able to get a decent end piece off there we go there we go and there we go Ta -da! it's smooth alright now I get to put you back up on the tripod for the last thing we have to cut. Alright guys, thanks as always for sticking with me. Bye-bye.